Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to Ratchet & Clank. In the last episode, we explored the robot factory on planet Quartu and discovered that the only planet standing in Chairman Drek's way is Veldin, Ratchet's home. So now Ratchet finally has a good reason to go after Chairman Drek. Although, he really should have seen that from the start because Clank knew what he was doing, come on. Always listen to Clank, he's smart. He's smarter than me, that's for sure. And in this episode, we will actually not be going to Drex Fleet to see what's going on because we've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, that's right, bigger than the galaxy. I never thought I'd say that. But sure enough, there's Drex Fleet in Velden Orbit. We could go to there. But first, there's something that I've wanted to show for the longest time and we finally, finally have the ability to do it. And something that uh, you guys might actually notice when we land, unless it's already appeared when I was collecting those bolts and I forgot to mention, I already have over 150,000 bolts in my inventory or in my possession, however you want to feel about it, whatever. But yeah, I already have 150,000 bolts because I actually performed the exploit off screen because I didn't feel like sitting there recording myself missing the taxi I didn't feel like recording hours and hours of me just sitting there doing the exploit when really all I needed was five minutes to actually show it in action so yeah I didn't feel like recording a three hour episode where like two hours of content could be cut out or whatever but anyway sure enough there's actually a whole bunch of metal detector spots here so while I'm collecting some extra bolts I will mention now that because I recorded the exploit off screen I will actually be patching in a little bit of uh, footage showing me doing the exploit so future me just splice that footage in now while I'm collecting these bolts. So this is the fancy pre-recorded bit where I'll actually be showing how to perform this exploit. So what you want to do is equip the holo guys so that you turn into a robot. So then if we talk to this NPC and enter the race, suppress so triangle, now sure enough it triggers the hoverboard race but then it glitches up. So now we can actually walk around the level. We've actually bypassed that part of the programming. And I've found that if I try walking backwards, uh, which is actually the uh, shorter way to go uh, if you want to perform this exploit, if I try walking backwards, for some reason, it will actually put me back on the hoverboard and completely screw up uh, the glitch. That or using the thruster pack to jump forward quickly screws it up. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is, yeah, I want to show this exploit so I don't feel like messing about too much. And actually, now that I think about it, it's probably best to equip the helipack. Maybe that's screwing things up. So hopefully now I can move about a bit quicker. But anyway, while I'm on my way to uh, the place where it is that I want to show this glitch, do you guys remember the Taunter? It was a weapon that we bought about 20 odd episodes ago back on Blog Station. We used it for that one level and then we never used it again because it was never really necessary. Well, guess what? The Taunter is actually useful for this exploit. Now, I would not recommend the Taunter in a regular playthrough. It is a very, very underwhelming weapon. It holds back some of the smaller enemies, but for the most part, it's just not really that useful. It's not very impressive. But if you want to make a lot of bolts really quickly, then the Taunter is pretty much essential. So if we go over here, there's the stack of boxes that we've seen before in this level, just up there. So there's a few amoeboids here, so just for the sake of it, it's probably best to just kill these guys to get them out of the way. Come on, and I don't want to die, so best be careful of that. But anyway, right here, if we kill this last one just for the sake of it. So right here, if we equip the Taunter, there it is, and stand under that stack of boxes, and then start using it. Wait, just got to stand in the right spot where it is. Aha, here it is. Now, sure enough, if I can just orient the camera properly to show this. Yeah, this is a very, very poor show of this actual glitch. But sure enough, yeah, if you stand in just the right spot with the Taunter, bolts will continuously fall from the sky. And because the boxes are set to regenerate, as long as you can't see them, you can actually just hold this uh, uh, weapon down, well, hold the circle button down to use this weapon, like, constantly, and you will consistently get bolts. And the thing is that this is a very useful exploit if you want to get easy money. You don't have to do anything, like, challenging in the game to get a lot of bolts really quickly. 
But with that said, it usually takes a, at least eight seconds to get 100 volts. So you're looking at anywhere from 700 to 800 volts a minute. And that is very fast overall in the grand scheme of things, but it still takes a long time. If you want to get millions upon millions of volts, then it's still going to take a good solid 10 to 20 hours if you want to get anywhere from there. And right now I'm at 65,000, so it should take about an hour and a half to get to 150,000. That's what I'm hoping to do. I just want to get enough money to get the Rhino because I really want that weapon. So sure enough, yeah, I'll just stand here and hold this button down for about an hour and a half. I'll probably switch the TV over to, I don't know, the Twilight Zone or something just to keep me occupied. But yeah, basically that's how the exploit works. Become a robot, talk to the NPC, travel along the track until you get to this point, pull out the taunter and just let the game do the rest. So sure enough, I'm going to flip the TV over to something else so that I have something to keep me occupied. And I will see you guys in the actual episode when I have 150,000 volts. Well, I think I might have been a bit optimistic when I pre-recorded that clip because getting 150,000 volts actually took about two hours or something like that. And Whoa, it pulled bolts through the wall. That was pretty funny. So yeah, sure enough, now we actually have 150,000 bolts and we can go and buy the Rhino. I've been looking forward to this. But first, is there a tank around this corner? No, I really hope that there's a tank somewhere in this level because we also have the ability to show a certain skill point that I've been waiting to show for a while. And this was a skill point that I found completely by accident. I was just messing about one day, just playing around with uh, one of my weapons, which hopefully we can mention in a bit when I find out whether I actually have the ability to show it or not. Uh, more metal detector patches, but I won't bother. I'm kind of slurring my speech at this point because I'm getting slightly worried. And I will get a couple of these, actually. I'm getting slightly worried. I really hope that the tanks in this level respawn after you've killed them all because... Of course, I destroyed all the tanks the first time that I came here, but I will need one of them in order to show this skill point because I wasn't able to show it the first time we were here. So, yeah, I'm really hoping that the tanks are still in the vicinity. But, yeah, sure enough, I was just messing about with the tanks uh, the first time that I played this game uh, and with one of my weapons that's necessary to uh, get the skill point. And sure enough, it came up with skill point unlocked, and I thought, oh, I found that completely by accident. That's funny. Come on, where's a tank? Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, there's the tank, and shut up, I don't care. Okay, it's okay. I was very worried for a second, but sure enough, you shut up. I was very worried, but no, it's okay, the tanks are still here. Now, you can actually do this uh, without this other gadget. Where is it? Uh, here it is, the... Where is it? O2 mask. Like, this is recommended for getting this skill point. I've done it without it, but it makes it a, a lot harder. So now, the weapon we want is... The Morpho Ray, yeah, haven't used this for a little bit, but it's okay. I'm okay with this investment because it's free. So sure enough, turn a tank into a chicken and you get the skill point. And I might as well kill it while I'm in the zone, you know. And sure enough, he is Slim Shady, so we can finally buy the Rhino. I've been looking forward to this. This thing is heavy. Yeah, try carrying it around in your trench coat for two months. Thank you, sir. You'll be sure to tell everyone about your services. Listen, you little twerp. If you tell anyone what you saw, what we talked about. Do I even have to say it? <laughs> you two have a nice day. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea why they didn't have subtitles for that bit. I guess they didn't expect anyone to actually get all those bolts, so they didn't bother adding it. But sure enough, this is the Rhino. You want to see what it does? Yeah, when Clank said it was the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy, he wasn't exaggerating. It launches, like, how many is this? Like, nine missiles at once, I want to say. It might be eight, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if they're skimping out on you a bit, but I'm going to say nine. Let's be optimistic. Let's, let's think positive. I'm positive that it's not nine. That's a very obscure inside-out joke, but eh, it doesn't matter. I've got inside-out on the mind. I like it. But anyway, with that said, so yeah, we have a new skill point and a brand new weapon, which should make the rest of the game a piece of cake, hopefully. But with that said, there is actually one more skill point that can still be attained in uh, Planet Rilgar, or on Planet Rilgar. No, no. 
in Blackwater City would have been the better sentence. And you know what? I've got the Rhino, I might as well use it. And I can't remember how much ammunition costs, but I want to say it's very expensive. I don't know, it's nine missiles per shot or whatever. So I don't know, that's got to be worth quite a bit. But anyway, one last skill point that's like, whoa, I didn't know that was there. If you look over this, um, yeah, if you look over the ledge, you can see the racetrack. I didn't know that was there. But, well, to be fair, of course it would be there, because, of course, if you go back to look at the exploit clip, if it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to do the exploit. But anyway, the last skill point that we can find on Planet Rilgar, I believe we want to enter the race, and I believe that the one skill point that I've forgotten is to complete the race in a specific time limit. I believe that the time we want to finish it in is 1 minute and 35 seconds. I believe that that's the time limit that we need to uh, do. I, I, oh, for God's sake. No, that's terrible. That's the time limit that we want to stick to, rather. Like, the time limit that we want to do, that's terrible dialogue. But, yeah, sure enough, I've heard that this is actually a very tricky skill point to get. And I still have my O2 mask on, I just realised. But... Yeah, what I'm thinking is that if we die at... <sighs> I'm trying to say, if we die at any point, then odds are that it's best to just completely reset because I don't think that you can recover from that um, initial crash. I don't know, unless you're the best racer in the whole town, but still. Okay, let's see. I don't want to go overboard with the tricks because if I do, then it's going to like put me in severe danger. And sure enough, the boxes aren't respawning anymore, so... Yeah, that's kind of a shame. Although with that said, if I remember correctly, um, I'm not quite sure, but I think that uh, contrary to what I said in an earlier episode, the exploit for getting uh, a load of bolts really easily can actually be performed multiple times. I'm not sure if there's specific actions that cancel that out though, because I don't know, maybe uh, after you've done the exploit once, if you then uh, perform a regular hoverboard race, Maybe that'll cancel it out. I'm not quite sure. And, oh, I forgot to mention, cutting corners is probably recommended. In which case, yeah, try to make use of that. And sure enough, the first two laps were completed in just over a minute and five seconds. In which case, this should be fine. But with that said, if I can't get this skill point in this particular attempt, then I will just cut ahead until I do. But I'm going to be optimistic. I think we're doing all right, as long as we keep cutting those corners. And also, like, uh, try to build up tricks for your Platinum Zoomerator if you can. And, oh god, oh god, this is going to be close. No, no, oh, we missed it. I think we missed it. Yeah, yeah, we missed it by that much. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute when I've actually completed this race properly. So, I'll, yeah, I'll cut ahead for a bit. Oh my god, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. Apparently, if you get it with 135 points something, it still counts. Okay, I am not complaining in the slightest, and I think the hoverboard race music is still playing, in which case I might have glitched it out a bit. Okay then, sorry about that, but anyway, before we carry on, there is actually one more thing to do in Blackwater City, and this should be the last thing that we need to get done before we can move on. Uh, in which case, I won't bother removing the O2 mask, it's going to force uh, it onto me anyway. So sure enough, uh, hopefully you'll remember, assuming that I actually mentioned this at the time, that when we were going to find Captain Quark back in episode... When was this? Episode 12 or something? Like, I can't quite remember. But sure enough, down here, uh, where they had that big Indiana Jones style booby trap, and oh god, I've got to go through all these hoops again. Yeah, you know what, I'll cut ahead to where I was, uh, well, cut ahead to where the Indiana Jones style booby trap was, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, here we go. So the last time we were here where the booby trap was, I mentioned that there is a gold bolt that you can't get here the first time that you come. I don't think that you can get this the first time at least, I'm pretty sure that the water rises too fast for you to keep up with. But somewhere around here there should be a little pipe that we can go through, so... Let's see, I want to say that it's on the left side, but I can't quite remember. Oh wait, this looks like the place. Okay, it's okay, we found it. So sure enough, if we go up here, it starts to turn a really horrid shade of green, which is kind of grossing me out slightly. 
But let's see. Here we go. Yeah, you'd think this would be some kind of amoeboid lair or something. Like, actually, now that I think about it, that'd be pretty cool having the amoeboid lair here because this is where they invaded, but uh, I wasn't trying to hover pack there. Sorry about that. Oh, hella pack, sorry. But, um,. Yeah, there is actually an amoeboid lair, sort of, where you get a gold bolt, but that is back on another planet. So, sure enough, that should be everything to do in Planet Rulgar. We got all the skill points, we got all the gold bolts, and now we have the brand spanking new Rhino. I'm looking forward to using that on the final boss, because from what I remember, the final boss is fairly tricky, but with the Rhino, nah, absolute child's play. Or at least I think it is. Yeah, let's be optimistic, but... Anyway, with that said, I don't think we'll be going to Chairman Drek's fleet in the next episode because there's actually quite a few skill points and gold bolts that I've left behind. Quite a few skill points that I forgot existed, actually. So, sure enough, if we just went to finish uh, the rest of the story now, then by the time we get to the completion screen, then it'll say, like, I don't know, 22 skill points out of 30, in which case there's a whole bunch that I missed. So hopefully, over the next episode, possibly the next two episodes, uh, we'll end up getting most of that stuff done. We'll end up getting a lot of the extra stuff uh, taken care of. And before I go over to my ship, I just want to check something. If I remember correctly, there's a weird glitch that happens if you go in the water with the hollow guys. Oh, okay. It deactivates the uh, robot form. Okay, oh god, I'm all the way back here. Yeah, I swear I remember something funny happening if he did that. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Well, either way, that should be about enough for today. So thanks for watching, and next time on Ratchet & Clank, we'll hopefully be taking care of a bunch of gold bolts and skill points. And yeah, sooner or later, we'll be going to Chairman Drek's fleet to see where he is. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.